searching for the good in our neighborhoods and each other. Not just finding what's wrong, but what's right. A true reflection of Cincinnati. Find the good in your mornings. Good morning, Tri-State. This is WCPO 9 News. We thank you for choosing us. I'm Evan Millward. Here's a look at some of the top stories right now. A discovery inside a burning home shatters a Middletown family. Police say a man breaking into houses killed Jamaica Calhoun last night. That man, Anson Pride, is now in jail charged with aggravated robbery and aggravated murder. Calhoun's family came together Saturday night for a vigil to celebrate her life and call for justice. Meanwhile, we're learning more about the 17 year old shot and killed in East Price Hill. Aurora McCarter was found on Bassett Road around this time uh, around 11 o'clock on on Friday night. The Cincinnati Police Youth Services Unit says McCarter was a cadet writing quote. This young lady, like all of our children, was dear to us. Gulf Manor Police had reported McCarter as an endangered runaway last month. That case was still open. We're still working to learn more about any suspects in her death. The owner of a West Price Hill funeral home cleaning up after a car crashed through a garage. Take a look at the mess on 8th Street Saturday afternoon. Police tell us the driver was coming down Trenton, lost control, crossed 8th and went into that garage, pushing another car inside out through the back wall. The driver and a passenger were taken to the hospital as a precaution, but should be OK. Cincinnati's St. Peter and Chains Cathedral has a big new designation. Pope Francis has granted it the title of Minor Basilica. That title is given to churches around the world in recognition of cultural and historical significance. It also denotes a closer relationship to the Pope. The cathedral celebrates 175 years in November. It's the oldest cathedral built as a cathedral that's still in use in the United States. With this new designation, it will now be known as Cathedral Basilica of St. Peter in Chains. Sherry, a nice day, but some changes for Sunday. Yeah, yesterday we had 88 degrees. We'll be a little cooler today. We start the temperatures well on Sunday in the mid and upper 60s, which is seasonable. We could start to see a few showers popping up as early as noon into the early portion of the afternoon. It looks like from Cincinnati eastward and southward there will be the better chance of seeing a few of those showers. That's all ahead of a cold front coming our way. And we could see, again, some heavy downpours as we still have enough moisture out there at the surface. Temperatures will start in the 60s with some patchy fog and we'll end up right around 80 degrees with cooler and drier air starting next week.